Hi friends. Today we are going to learn the last part of this chem changes and reaction. In the last video, we learned the different types of changes, how can we define them, and is the example of the changes. Now we are going to learn starting from the chemical reaction. In the first video, in the last one example, where we see that the chemical changes can be represented easily with the help of the symbol and chemical formula that is called the chemical reaction. Okay. This chemical reaction from this starting from this chemical reaction. So in chemical reaction, if you write the example, the burning of carbon, very simple example, C plus O2, that is CO2. Here there are two parts. This is the participant, the substances that take part in a chemical reaction, they are called the reactants they are called the reactants and the substance that is obtained after the chemical change after the chemical reaction that is called the product so a chemical reaction has two parts the reactant and product if the number of atoms of the each individual reactant are same with the number of atoms of the individual atom in the product then they are called the balanced chemical reaction or chemical equation and it is necessary to balance the chemical reaction because to obey the law of conservation of mass we have to balance the chemical reaction a chemical reaction when balanced then it is represented by like hydrogen plus oxygen from water 2H2O 2H2 plus O2 2H2O here the number of hydrogen atom and the oxygen atoms in the reactant side and product sides are same. So they are called the balanced chemical equation and when they are not equal then they are called unbalanced chemical equation. One example of it H2 plus O2 also here we represent the arrow sign between the reactant and product. Here the number of atoms are not same in the reactant and product side of the individual reactants hydrogen two atoms hydrogen two atoms but oxygen two atom in the reactant side but in the product side only one atom so they are not balanced okay they are not balanced an unbalanced chemical reaction can be represented by the arrow sign between the reactant and product but a balanced chemical reaction represented by the equal sign okay so only by seeing the symbol given between the reactant and product we can say whether the equation is balanced or unbalanced okay next and if it is unbalanced, then you have to balance this to obey the law of conservation of mass. This chemical reaction may be of different types, types of chemical reaction, types of chemical reaction, types of chemical reaction. This is the balanced, this is balanced reaction and this is unbalanced unbalanced reaction okay now what are the different types of chemical reactions very simple let us consider the first one kind of chemical reaction where the two reactants a and b they com chemically combine to form a b just simply they added together this is called the addition reaction this is called addition reaction. One example of it, let us see, C plus O2, it forms CO2. This is formed, it forms CO2. Simply they add it together to form the product. This is called the addition reaction. This is addition reaction. Sometimes this reaction is also called the combination reaction. Sometimes this is also called combination reaction and another one example let us see here the nitrogen and hydrogen chemically combined together to form the ammonia here also nitrogen and hydrogen chemically combined together but they are not simply added like the first one this is one example of the combination reaction there is very small difference between the 
addition and the conversion, uh, addition reaction and the combination reaction. But if we consider neglect this, both of them are same, simply added. But if we see this, there is a difference. They just combine together. Here the something changes are found. So this is addition reaction or combination reaction. But we can consider two different types of reaction also. Another one type of chemical reaction that is the decomposition reaction. Let us the substances are here. Let the substance be A. A be the substance. When A decomposes, it forms the two substances, two or more substances B and C. A single substance decomposes to form two or more new substances. So, one example of it, one example of it, let this is be 2 KClO3 potassium chloride on heating, it forms on heating 2 KCl potassium chloride plus 3O2, 3 molecule of oxygen gas. That means one substance decomposes to form two or more new substances. This is one example of the decomposition reaction. This type of chemical reaction is called decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction. Another one type of chemical reaction is here that is called the displacement reaction where AB is a substance. AB is a substance and another substance let this is be X. This is be X. So, in any case, if we see that the B, the B or A, anyone is replaced by the X. If X takes the position of A, then what happened? Then this is called displaced. That means A is displaced by X. Then what happened? Then XB plus A is formed. XB plus A is formed. The corresponding one example of it, corresponding one example. Now copper sulphate solution CuSO4 in blue copper sulphate solution iron nail is dipped. Then what happened? Then you see that the solution turns into green and form FeSO4 ferrous sulphate where copper is deposited reddish brown copper. Let us see the iron displaced the copper or the copper is displaced by iron. So this is called the displacement reaction. This is called displacement reaction okay this one example of displacement reaction another one example let us consider is there any possibility that both of them exchange their position in the reactant side let us consider a b a b plus c d a b plus c d if it happens that the C comes to the position of A and A goes to the position of C. Then what happened? The compound new substances that are formed CB plus AD. That means here double displacement occur. One example of it, let us one example of it. Let us one example AgNO3, silver nitrate. Silver nitrate solution plus HCl, hydrochloric acid is added to the silver nitrate solution. Then what happened? Then we see that the cardiophyte precipitation of the silver chloride is formed. Cardiophyte precipitation of silver chloride with, with HNO3. With HNO3. That means here the position of H and AG changes and they exchange their position. That is called double displacement reaction or double decomposition reaction. This is one kind of double displacement, double displacement, double displacement or, or double decomposition, double decomposition reaction. Double decomposition reaction. Okay. Another one type of chemical reaction is also here. Another one type of chemical reaction is also here, where acid and base react with each other to form salt and water. That is called acid base reaction. One example of it, here we can use the arrow or equal sign. 
there is no problem for using the arrow or equal sign because here you consider only the types of chemical reaction okay another one acid base reaction acid base reaction in acid base reaction in very simple reaction where one acid reacts with base hcl plus naoh naoh sodium hydroxide react together to form the sodium chloride salt plus water this is the one example of acid base reaction also some other types of chemical reaction like the molecular arrangement reaction neutralization reaction are also here in the next video we learn about the rest types of the chemical reaction today up to this okay